Airtable is a great tool for collaboration, and they have a decent high-level permissioning system. However, that can leave you sometimes wanting a little bit more when it comes to the granularity of permissions. Now, Softer gives you the ability to be able to extend upon Airtable's permissions to get a little bit more granular and show the exact people on your team exactly what they can do and access inside of the system. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com and we're a software and Airtable implementation partner. Now, if you haven't signed up for software, you can get started with the affiliate link in the description below. So we're just gonna do a quick high level rundown on Airtable's permissions and I'm gonna start at the base level. Now you actually have the ability to add collaborators, the users, you can add them at a base or a workspace level. I'm gonna show you at a base right here where we share this and we can invite people and when we invite them, we have a few different roles that we can choose from to be able to apply to them. So one is a creator. This is where you get to basically do everything inside of that base. You can configure and edit the base. That means all of that metadata of creating tables and editing tables and fields, you've got those permissions. At the editor level, you can edit and update records and you can do that for views, but you can't actually get to that metadata level, the fields and the tables inside of the system. And then we have the commenter who can comment on records and they can create personal views, but they're not actually creating records or doing updates to records. And then we have read only, which they can view the data that's there, but they can't comment, they can't update, they can't create those records. Now for many organizations, this is perfectly sufficient because they're really using Airtable as a collaboration tool and most people have similar permissions to be able to view all of the data in the system and that's no problem. For other organizations, this is really not granular enough because it's not restricting based on assignment of a record. So to say I can only update my records that I have or I can only delete my records that I have. There's certain things that we just simply can't do inside of Airtable and that's often when we're dependent on other solutions interacting with Airtable to solve for that. We also don't have the ability to create custom roles in the system. So we can't say this collaborator is a salesperson, therefore they get the sales role and we apply a certain set of permissions. And that can make it tricky as you're trying to manage new users, new collaborators who are onboarding into your organization. Now I wanna talk about a couple other permissions we have. So at the table level, in this case, we're looking at opportunities right here. We can go down and edit our table permissions. And this gives us the ability to say that for one of those roles we talked about, for that role and above, we can restrict who can create those records and who can delete those records. Again, we can't do it by a specified role like a sales team member, and it's not full CRUD operations. We're not restricting the read of this. This is for the creation and deletion of those records. And we can do similarly at the field level. So if I click into a field and I'm on a paid plan, I can go to my edit field permissions and we can say who can edit the values in this field based on this role and above. And then we can also do some creative things with interfaces because we can have collaborators that only access information via an interface. And therefore we could have fields that we don't expose on that interface so we can control what exactly they're able to update or create records within that interface. But that still leaves us with some gaps such as managing visibility of records and being able to have custom defined user roles. And that's what I wanna talk about where Softer can help fill some of those gaps if you're looking for some more of those granular permissions. So I'm inside of Softer here and I've created a couple different user groups and I just wanna pull this open. So we've got one for our marketing team and our sales team. And remember, we are able to sync over, say a contacts table from Airtable to be our users of the system inside of Softer. So rather than having it be one-to-one -one with our users, remember we can oftentimes save on the licensing cost by using Softer. Here we've got our contact records and we can actually map over fields like department where we can say, hey, if they're marketing, this is the team that they're on. They're on the marketing team. So inside of Softer, what I'm doing here is we're able to say, if that logged in users department, that field that we saw over here, if their department matches, if it's one of marketing, then we're going to have them be on the marketing team. And then likewise, we did similar on the sales team here. So we're able to set up multiple of these user groups, which is going to serve as that basis of how we're going to restrict the control and what the user sees on the screen. So I've hopped over here to my opportunities screen and let's keep going with that CRM use case. So we've got a marketing team and we've got a sales team. Now for the sales team, we want them to be able to view their own opportunities. I don't want a sales rep to view all of the sales reps opportunities in the system. I only want them to worry about their own opportunities that they have. So I've created a table component here, and this is where we're showing this information. We can control which fields that we're showing. We also have an action button over here. If I click on my actions and create opportunity, 
let's say they're doing prospecting and they qualified a new opportunity, they can create that opportunity record inside of the system. So this functionality, I wanna restrict a couple different ways. One is on the visibility side. I only want the sales team to be able to see this table here on this page. So we're restricting this both to logged in users and then we're doing a subset of those logged in users, which in this case is just that sales team that's going to be able to see this top grid that we have. But I can also limit this down to just that sales rep's individual opportunities. If I click on my source here, and when we scroll down, we can add conditional filters to be able to say, we're only going to show those list items that match these conditions. And in this case, we're going off of a name, but it would probably make more sense if we were using the record ID, which we can do as well. So we're saying, if that owner's name matches the logged in user's name, because we can match based on attributes of that, now we're going to show those users opportunities on the screen. We're not gonna show all the other sales reps opportunities inside of the application. Now I went ahead and I actually duplicated this component here down below and I call this sales qualified opportunities because in this case, imagine you're the marketing team and you wanna find out which sales accepted leads qualified into opportunities here. And to do that, we wanna look at some different information. So I duplicated this initially, but we don't actually have to have any of this conditional filters here. So I'm going to actually remove my filter because we're saying we're okay with the marketing team being able to see all of the opportunities in the system rather than just a particular sales rep's opportunities. So we're going to remove that filter. I also went to the content and I changed the fields that I have here. So up top, we wanted to show the commit. Is this in that sales rep's commit for the quarter? But we don't really care about that if we are on the marketing side. So I removed that field here so we can make sure that we're only displaying the relevant information that we want to show based on that user's role. On the visibility side, we changed this to marketing team. So now only the marketing team can see this bottom version of it. So when that page loads for them, they're only gonna see the respective version of this table. They're not gonna see the two stacked here. I'm only seeing both because I'm an admin and I'm actually building this out right now. But when that user logs in, they're only gonna see based on that marketing or the sales team, which of those versions of this table that they're gonna view. And then the other thing I did is on actions, I removed that button to create an opportunity because we're having marketing dealing with leads that are coming through and it's the sales team that's actually qualifying those leads into opportunities. So you can see how throughout this process, we were able to manage who can see what inside of the system, the visibility, the fields that we're showing, who can take what actions like creating a new record because we're able to do so much more with software's permissions when you combine them in conjunction with the power of Airtable. Make sure that your team has the right permissions to get their job done by using Airtable with software.